This is the plaintiff, Rebecca Alovich. She says the defendant ran over her Kate Spade purse with his landscaping truck, and everything in it was obliterated. The defendant apologized, said he'd reimburse her for everything she's out, but hasn't. And here they are. She's suing for $3,904.70 for two iPhones, makeup, Gucci sunglasses, perfume, a Michael Kors wallet, and her essential oils. This is the defendant, Malcolm Aline. He says, the foolish plaintiff put a purse on the ground in front of truck garages. And never expecting a purse to be on the ground, he accidentally ran over it. He feels bad about what happened, but no one would expect a purse to be on the ground where trucks are. And for that reason, he feels like he did nothing wrong and doesn't owe all this money. He's accused of not looking where he's going. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant ran over a Kate Spade purse, and there was all sorts of expensive stuff inside. But the defendant says she put her purse on the ground next to the truck. It's the case of I got spayed. Now you're getting neutered. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Rebecca Elovich, you are suing Malcolm Ali Elaine. Elaine. Elaine, for three thousand nine hundred and four dollars and seventy cents in items of yours that you say he negligently destroyed. Tell me what it is that happened here. So Malcolm and I worked for a landscaping company. I currently still work there. Um, Tuesday mornings are fill-up days, as well as we change the blades and the lawnmowers. So fill-up uh, fill gas? Up ga yeah, okay. gas. So my truck is parked in front of everyone's trucks, and all the guys put all of the gas cans inside of my truck, bed of my truck. Um, there were three guys who had lawnmowers that were actually jacked up and were under changing blades. So I did put my purse. Where are you guys doing all this? In the um, parking lot of the business? Yeah, so we have a small warehouse, and then the trucks are all aligned in a very kind of congested area. Parking lot. Yeah, what, parking what's the lot, floor yes. made of? Is it concrete? Yeah, Is no, it it's, a yeah, it's a driveway. Yeah, it's a driveway. OK, go ahead. Correct. So I, ra I put my purse down next to one of the mowers and ran back to my office, and within, I'm gonna say not even a minute, Malcolm drove over my purse. Where was Malcolm driving? I don't know, he shouldn't have been driving anywhere, because no one's to leave, because I have to, everyone follows me to the gas station. So he should have never even moved the truck. Okay, but where was he moving the truck to? Did you ever ask him? He said that one of the employees told him to move the truck, and he did not look where he was going, and he just moved a F-550 without looking to see if there was a leg on the ground or if there was anything in his way. Why would there be a purse on the ground? Because the guys were on the floor changing the blades in their mowers. Okay. Very, very close to where Malcolm's truck was parked. Okay. Why was your purse on the ground? Because I... Now, why, instead of somewhere other than the ground? You have $3,900 in that purse. You have... $345 Gucci sunglasses, a hair straightener. The purse itself is worth 400 bucks. A five milliliter $200 flower bomb perfume, a Michael Kors wristlet wallet, $1,000 in essential oils. So Why was... did you leave it on the ground where tires go? Well, no tires, no one was moving their trucks. Yeah, except for it's a driveway, right? Like in it other was words- not... No, In other no words, was... why is your purse on the ground? It's a simple question. Tell me that why you put it on the ground instead of not have putting it on the ground. For example, your truck is there. Why didn't you put your purse in your truck? Because I ran into the office. I just dropped it down and ran into the office. So why is that his fault? Because he shouldn't have moved the truck. Okay. So you worked there for how long? Uh, two years. Two years. Did you end up leaving over this? Yes. Why? Um, it just became a very like uncomfortable situation. I went on vacation right after it happened, and when I got back, it just did, I didn't feel comfortable working there anymore. Why? Mainly because like we used to talk about like what was going on during the day, and we just never really communicated after when we got back. And it just wasn't. But she told you she wanted you to pay her back. Correct. Do you have pictures of any of this? Yes, I do. Or the items themselves. Of the essential oils or anything. You got a nine hundred dollar iPhone seven, a six hundred dollar iPhone six. Here are the phones. So did was there any discussion with your boss 
Uh, he told me how to handle it with Rebecca. He said it wasn't really his issue, that I should just talk to Rebecca about it and come to an uh, answer on what, how we should handle it. Do you think he it. was taking her side? Yes. Why? Um, based on what I've seen, they have a semi, I think a pretty personal relationship, and I don't think he really wanted to get involved with it, and he didn't really know how to handle it. I think he thought that it was not smart for her to leave it on the ground as to why he didn't really get involved. Can I? Do you have the purse? Uh, no, I do not. What did you do with it? I threw it away because it was... Why did you keep this stuff then? Well, because the straightener I thought would work. It does not work. The so essential... why did you keep it though? You kept it all these months. Why didn't you keep the purse or take pictures of it so you could show it to me? Because I didn't know I was going to court. I thought Malcolm actually and his father both offered to so help So tell me why you pay. kept the hair straightener. Because it, it looks work. like it would it would still continue to work. So you just now found out it doesn't work. No, I knew I knew it doesn't work after I tried to use it. Which was how long ago? A couple months ago. I don't straighten my hair often. Okay, so and then uh, you've kept it these couple of months. After I filed the small claims report for my for Malcolm. All right. Um, so, did you did the are you the father? Yes, I am. Can you switch with the mother? Did you speak with her at some point? I did. You don't have to lean forward, even though you are a tall drink of water. <laughs> you can, our acoustics are good. All right, and so uh, um, in order to say what? Because you guys felt bad and you wanted to work something out or what? Initially, when I talked to Malcolm, he forwarded me the text message that he had uh, received from her. Where she was asking for what? Um, she had mentioned some of the items, but I have the text message that identified Is there an amount everything. she asked for then? Yes. How much was it? Um, it wasn't three thousand nine hundred dollars. No, or no, not even close. No, what was it? Uh, it was four hundred for the purse. I can look on the yeah. text on the message. Yeah. And she was texting you. Malcolm called me when it happened because he was told to go home that same day after this happened in the morning. So when he went home, he called me on his way home, and he was like, "Dad, this is what happened. What do I do?" Were you sent home that day? Yes, I By was. By whom? Uh, the owner of the company. What did he say? It's best if you go home because she's so upset? He said just go home. All right. And then did, were you fired or did you quit? I quit. All right. And did, when you talked to the owner and told him you were quitting, did you say why? Yes, I did. You said this just makes me too uncomfortable and I don't think... Did, did you say whether or not you... Did you ever indicate you were going to pay her back or try to pay her back or anything else? So she puts the purse next to the truck. Is... Does she get money from this truck driver? Yeah, absolutely. He's responsible. He's got to be careful. He's driving. It's a Kate Spade. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, you buying that? No, I'm not buying that. I think she shouldn't have set her purse down somewhere where it could be damaged. Push the tiebreaker quick. Tiebreaker quick. Uh, no, she, she, it's definitely her fault. I'm on your side going inside the courtroom. Uh, I talked to my dad a little bit more about it. We decided not to because we didn't believe it was my fault for what happened. Okay, and why were you moving the truck? Uh, one of my coworkers asked me to move the truck to get some mulch into the back of the truck, and I was moving it, and I guess her purse was underneath the truck. Okay, so you didn't see her purse? No, I did not. Right, how high is the truck? It's a flatbed, it was a big flatbed at Ford truck. Okay, you found it? Yes, I did. How much is she asking for? So it was, it cost me 900 to replace the business phone, and I couldn't afford to pay to get a new personal phone, so now I don't have a phone. You destroyed my $400 Kate Spade purse, my $200 um, CHI straightener, and not to mention the hundreds of dollars of makeup and perfume and oils you destroyed. Okay, so there's not like a specific amount. That's, I, I'm, that's here, it. Here's, here's um, you know, what's going through my head right now. Um, one time, I was at Equinox, which I love, <laughs> and I took my glasses off. And I put them next to me. And someone walked by and stepped on my glasses. And he felt terrible. And I looked at him and I said, this mat is for walking. It's not for me to put down my glasses. You don't need to feel terrible. This is completely my fault. How is the driveway where trucks are moving a place where you should put $4,000 worth of a purse? Instead of, because you're, you're in a hurry. I'm, I'm kind of stunned that you um, are here and asking me to order the truck driver to pay you $3,904 because he should have known that you would put your purse on the ground in the driveway. 
How is, I mean, his tires are in an appropriate place. It's your purse that doesn't belong there. And certainly not, I mean, if you do that, let it not be $4,000 worth of stuff. Verdict for the defendant. Well, the plaintiff did not fare too well. The judge finds for the defendant, Ms. Elevich, what do you think? I really You're have to say. Yeah, I am. I just felt like I didn't really get to speak. What do you think you could have told her that would have made a difference? Well, Malcolm and his father offered to pay me $250. So I didn't ask him to replace the whole purse, because that's unacceptable. I mean, I would have never asked that. He's a college student. That's not something I would ever ask. Yeah, but, but you, I did you ask, sued him for the Well, because the he, cost. he ignored and completely disrespected me by, he said he would pay me $250, and he just didn't. Then when I asked him for it, he quit. There was no uncomfortable, I mean, I wasn't being right. at all uncomfortable with I Malcolm. I understand, he continued to I understand. Work. And it was later then you decided to go ahead and sue him for the whole amount, right? Yes, which didn't work out. It didn't work out, no. No. So sorry. All right. Thank you. Be more careful with your purse. Here comes Malcolm now. I mean, what about what she said? You did offer to give her 250 bucks, but you didn't? That's Is not, that right? That's not what I remember that's happening. That's not what you we, remember? We communicated about what, what we didn't come to an agreement, so we just stopped communicating. Well, maybe had you given her something, you know, you wouldn't have ended up in court. But hey, you're probably better off in court because you didn't have to give her anything. It's true. And, uh, true. you know, she shouldn't have had her purse there. Correct. Okay. Good enough. Thank you very much. Think your son learned a lesson? I don't know. Did he learn a lesson? He learned not to let people take advantage of him. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You must Thank sign you. a few documents on your way out of the courtroom. Thank you. Thank you, much. sir. Harvey? Okay, Doug, if he would have seen the purse and then run it over, then obviously he'd be responsible. He didn't see it. She loses. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.